I'm Jordan Vandenberg, live in Jefferson City, where people continue to mourn the death of a nine-year-old girl. I'll have the latest coming up in a live report. Stopping H1N1, we have team coverage of swine flu in mid-Missouri. A new candidate is in place to run for the mayor of Columbia. We'll let you know more about that. KOMU 8 News at 10. And a new law and a new closing. Mid-Missouri moms lose an option. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 10. As the family of nine-year-old Elizabeth Alton said their final goodbyes today, a Cole County judge ruled the certification hearing for the suspected killer will be open to the public. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reed. And I'm Angie Bailey. Thanks for joining us. In a closed-door meeting today, Cole County Judge John Beatum decided to open the hearing next month to determine if the suspect in Alton's death can stand trial as an adult. KOMU 8's Jordan Vanderberg is live in Jefferson City outside the Cole County Courthouse where the hearing took place today. Jordan. Well, by opening the November hearing, the judge will allow the general public to attend the trial as well as keep the suspect in custody. At that cert certification hearing, Judge Beatum will decide whether to try the 15-year-old suspect as a juvenile or an adult. If the judge elects to try the suspect as an adult, information such as the suspect's sex, the suspect's age, and the suspect's inf other public information becomes public. This is exactly the type of information authorities told the media not to release yesterday. The attorney representing the juvenile argued the publicity and the hype surrounding the case prevents the client from getting a fair trial. However, the prosecution says that previous rulings by the Supreme Court allowed this type of hearing to be public due to the severity of the charges and the specific crime. So while the Alton family continues to mourn in private this evening, the court decides that the quest for justice is a public affair. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Jordan Vandenberg, KMUA News. All right, Jordan, thank you very much. And as he said, the Alton family laid Elizabeth to rest today. The ceremony took place near the family home in St. Martin's, west of Jefferson City. The pastor said about 300 people attended. In keeping with our policy not to intrude at private funerals, KOMU 8 News did not send cameras to the service. A Facebook page titled Help Find Elizabeth Alton now serves as a way to remember the little girl and support her family. It originally started to coordinate volunteer efforts, but now poems, prayers, and pictures help family and friends grieve the loss of the nine-year-old. The page's administrator says members of the group help the family mourn and remember Elizabeth. They're able to just post a little thing online. And I think that helps, um, you know, the family a lot in uh, the grieving process to know that there is a community there and there are prayers for them. Adrian was a family friend. He says the page will remain up to give people a place to share their thoughts and memories.